T-minus 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15, 14, 13. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. The shuttle has cleared the tower. What a fantastic sight. <laughs> now at the speed of sound. And they're cheering and clapping here all over the Cape. Columbia, Houston, you're going to Roger, you're going to Well, the astronauts have now passed the 19-mile mark. They can't use their ejection seats after this point if they should need to. I'm sure they won't. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're laughing a little bit. So Any second now, the boosters will run out of fuel and we should see them go. Columbia, you're in negative The van call up says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Boosters are shut down. Columbia, you're going for SRB step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB step confirmation. <laughs> Roger on the step, and there go the solid rocket boosters. Forced away from the path of the shuttle by tiny rocket motors in the side of the two boosters. They even without power, their momentum is going to carry them another 10 miles up before they parachute down to the Atlantic. Incidentally, it's going to take twice as long to get down as it did for them to get up. Kieran, thank you. You, you and uh, Kennedy have done a fine job. We've lost the pictures of the SRBs, unfortunately. Let's uh, look in animation then at what has just safely happened. The solid rocket boosters, which have lifted the uh, spacecraft to a height of 30 miles, have been successfully separated from the spacecraft and uh, parachuted into the Atlantic. Columbia is now flying on her main engines with the external tank. So, and I'm sorry we lost the pictures at the crucial moment, the first hurdle is successfully over. And that's as we uh, wait now for news of that uh, rapid acceleration up to orbit, 174 miles above the Earth at a little under 18,000 miles per hour. And we wish good luck to Young and Crippen. Jump ahead to an operation that will be carried out as soon as Columbia is safely into orbit. The crew will check that they can in space, open Columbia's cargo payload doors. Now, as well as providing access to the large cargo hold, these are giant radiators which prevent the spacecraft dangerously overheating. Pilot Bob Crippen explained to us. For the first flight, we are dependent upon the insides of those doors to provide uh, a capability to radiate the heat of the spacecraft out into space to keep it cool. We've got radiators that coat the entire surface of the large payload bay doors, which are like 60 feet long. Uh, they're very large and complex mechanical devices that uh, it's pretty important to us that when we open them up, that we know for darn sure that we can get them closed. It's so important they've spent hours practicing in the artificial zero gravity of underwater. In this case, they're simulating the emergency of having to go outside the spacecraft and close the doors manually. However, if they can't open the doors in the first place, they'd have to return home almost immediately. We actually can stay up until like 
sixth revolution around is probably about the last one we want to try. I think we do still have a little bit of a capability on the seventh time to come into our nominal landing site, which is Edwards Air Force Base. And uh, if we elect to stay overnight, if we have any, any problems, we would have to go into a pretty severe power down on the vehicle to keep from generating so much heat. Even if they get the doors open, they must make sure they're properly closed before returning. And if the metal doors have expanded in the heat, they'll have to make them contract by using the thrusters to turn the spacecraft, moving the doors into the shade. Uh, we have actually set up the whole flight around on the first day if we develop any significant problem. Uh, we are planning on coming in on the, on the fifth orbit. And uh, then on the next day, uh, we will look at the vehicle again and ascertain whether we've had any significant problems and perhaps bring it down then. So we've planned it in stages so that we can go ahead and terminate it if uh, we don't like what's happening.